My Honeywell OB 350-00071B is 3 to 5 years. Old The electric furnace sometimes won't go on so I mess around with the Honeywell and the furnace starts, not this time. I changed the batteries, then started viewing online videos. I have taken the wires out as someone had put the C common wire into the G green slot. It's all messed up. I add the green into the G, the red into the R, the white into the W. Did you check the furnace's filters? There is no place for the C common wire. I don't have AC so the Y is open as is an OB. I don't know what the OB stands for. Can you help? Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes, and what do the furnace filters have to do with these wires? Anything else we should know to help you best? What is OB for? Hello, welcome to Just Answer. I will be assisting you. Please give me a moment to review the information you have provided. Thank you. How do I send you a photo of where I am in this process? No call right now. I'm only asking what OB means on the inside of the thermostat. You won't need to use the wide terminal as this is for if you have air conditioning. And you won't use OB either, as this is for if you have a heat pump. Attached pics to this chat. Where does the common wire go? What terminals do you connect to on the electric furnace? Take a pic of the wiring diagram and circuit board for the furnace and attach and I can tell you how it needs to be wired. I don't know. It's an electric furnace. This. I know it's upside down on the furnace. Yep, Doc, give me a second. Okay, it looks like you have it wired correctly, assuming it is wired correctly to the furnace. Can you take a picture of the thermostat wires where they connect to the furnace circuit board so we can verify this? I'll give it a try. I don't know how to open up the furnace for a closer shot to the thermostat on the other side of the wall. To the thermostat wires on the other side of the wall. Okay, that is not what I am looking for, but no worries. Put the furnace panels back on and make sure everything is back in place. Then shut the furnace switch off at the furnace, go up to the thermostat and touch the red and white wires together, then turn the furnace switch back on. We are testing to see if your thermostat is working. Okay, I'll turn the breaker back on now. If nothing happens, then shut the furnace switch off again, go back to the thermostat and touch the red and green wire together, then turn the furnace switch back on and see what happens. Nothing happens either way. The common wire has not been in any hole or con tie-in throughout this process. You don't have or need a common wire for your system or thermostat. Are you talking about the gray wire in the picture? What wires were hooked up to it before you changed things around? I think what is going on here is that you actually wired it correctly as far as color coding goes, but that is not the color wires they used coming up to the thermostat. Your thermostat is probably bad and needs to be replaced, then wired back to the way it was originally. I believe you are correct. Thank you so much. How many and what wires were hooked up originally? According to your wiring diagram you will only need three wire hooked up. Whoops I attached a photo of how it was wired before I changed them. The furnace didn't turn on then either. Yay, 
when you touch the red to the white wire that should turn the furnace on and red to gray should turn the fan on. Not sure why they have the yellow wire hooked up if you have no AC, but they probably hooked it up there by habit. I would make sure all the door switches for the furnace are depressed slash closed. In other words, if your doors are not on securely, then your furnace will not turn on. Did you have a dirty air filter that you just changed out? I did that today but the furnace has not been working for two days and I hadn't opened it up till today. Touch the red and gray wires together now just for the fun of it, then turn the furnace switch on. Was the air filter dirty? When I changed it today it was. Okay I'll give it a go again. Okay, that explains it then. You have a high limit switch on the furnace that tripped and it will need to be replaced more than likely. It is sticking open and won't allow the furnace to turn on because it thinks it is too hot. It is labeled CL on your wiring diagram and will need to be checked. Okay. I now need a furnace contractor. Nothing happened with the red and gray connection. Yay, unfortunately, you're in that position now unless you're good with a multimeter, but this is high voltage stuff you need to check now, versus the low voltage you were messing with. I would put everything back the way it was to begin with and have a contractor look at it at this point. Let me know if you have any other questions, otherwise please don't forget to rate me on my service tonight. Thank you so much. I will rate now. You're welcome. Have a good night. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.